if you yourself feel like a victim you're gonna see a victimization if you yourself are sick and tired of victims you're gonna see something other than a victimization because your perspective oh controls what you see and your perspective you could call it your expectation you could call it your belief so a belief is a thought that you continue to think it's a vibrational habit or pattern and an expectation is just a stronger version of that you've believed it and you've acknowledged that you believe it and you've spoken about your beliefs until your beliefs are attracting to you evidence of your beliefs and then you expect it next time and you expect it next time and you expect it next time because the law of attraction keeps yielding to you what you believe which causes you to expect it but we don't call that deliberate creating we call that creating by default we call that attracting by virtue of your observation we also we love you so much you know what's coming next <laughs> call it sloppy thinking we call it offering most of your vibration and most humans do this you offer most of your vibration in response to what you are observing but you got to factor in that what you're observing is coming to you by what you expect ah and so it feels like it's true well it certainly is it's manifesting but what we want you to understand is that you are making it so and if you like it then keep doing it keep regurgitating the story that your mother told you about the injustices that she lived when she lived with her brothers and they were rude to her and when her father gave over the business he gave it over to the boys and nothing to the girls keep telling those stories keep telling the stories of the victimization or the confusion or the moments in time when you weren't happy and watch how the universe continues to yield to you the same results of the stories that you're telling until it is your expectation until it is so strong that you have a very difficult time expecting around it and then watch yourself join together in clumps of humans as you fight against the others because you're sure that you've got the right perspective Esther argued with us in the beginning quite a lot but Abraham it's true it's true and we said we get that we get that it's true there's evidence of it but there's a better question do you want to continue the truth of that in your experience is this a truth that you want to surround you to manifest to you because it isn't a question of whether it's true or not you get what you're thinking about whether you want it or not and there are all kinds of people creating all kinds of things that they want and all kinds of people creating all kinds of things that they don't want and you spend so much endless useless oh futile time arguing with each other about what you are individually attracting instead of just getting on with the business of doing it the way you mean to do it and because so many people don't really have a handle on what's coming to them and why it's coming then anytime something unwanted comes because of your point of attraction because of your habit of thought because of your belief and because of your expectation you want to give the blame to someone else this happened to me because of you and that's where we really get stubborn in our conversation with you because it is never ever 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 about what someone else is doing and you might say well sure felt like it because I didn't feel like that until he did that and we say yeah but he didn't do that till you felt like that and you say ah oh, come on Abraham he did that and then I felt that way and we say but you were feeling that way before he did that and you say no don't think so and we say then you need to pay more attention you got to pay more attention to how you're feeling because there are two ways to know what you're attracting one is pay attention to how you feel and the other is wait until it's there and then look it over we call one pre-manifestation and the other post-manifestation and the problem with post-manifestational awareness is once it's manifested it's hard not to notice it it's hard not to give it your undivided attention and so then it is more difficult to change it certainly not impossible actually much easier than most people really know but wouldn't it be nice if you could be in 
more conscious deliberate control of what you attract now we want to remind you that you came deliberately intentionally into this environment because you were eager about the variety the contrast that you knew would surround you and you knew that from that you would make at many levels of your awareness really consciously aware and less consciously aware you knew that you would feel or decide what you prefer and you knew that as you preferred something in other words when you're living something unpreferred your preferred version of it comes clear and so every time a preferred version happens within you which is many many times in every day that preferred version is what your inner being focuses upon and then it becomes part of the point of attraction of your inner being so what that means is every time you know what you don't want and therefore know what you do want your inner being focuses upon the know what you do want part of it and that's where you and your inner being vary because your inner being always focuses upon what you have concluded that you want always upon your most expanded version of you while you we love you so much <laughs> you so often stand in awareness of what you don't want while you spit out what you do want but you focus upon what you don't want as you justify what you do want while you focus upon what you don't want as you writhe in the discomfort of what you don't want while your inner being is off to gather the cooperative components of what you do want and the more cooperative components of what you do want are gathered then the more you feel your own not cooperating and that's also what negative emotion is negative emotion means in the moment that I feel it I'm not cooperating with what I said I want it would be like you asking a friend to help you work something out so your friend gets right on it your wise clear clever friend who loves you gets right on it talks to people who are needed lines up all the resources gets it all going and then meets with you again and all you do is talk about where you are and your friend would say yeah 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 but listen to this listen to this look at all this good stuff that's happening and you say but look where I am and your friend says well you sent me on a mission and I got it all gathered up and it's all queued up just waiting for your attention and you say I'm sorry I can't give my attention to what I want I'm too busy giving my attention to the reasons that I want it let's consider my personal struggle <laughs> and your friend says hey I was never engaged by you to focus on your personal struggle I'm focused upon your triumph I'm focused upon your motion forward all of us are gathered we're all ready we're up and ready come to the meeting and you say I can't I'm too tired I'm depressed sorry I can't make it and the thing that's interesting is that meeting goes on eternally your friend your non-physical friend your inner being friend your Abraham friend your source energy friend doesn't say all right then you blew it we gathered the resources and you didn't come so instead the resources just continue to be gathered the collection of cooperative components just continues to expand you set it into motion and your inner being is tending to it you're just not coming and the only thing that is going wrong you might say we don't really feel that way at all the only thing that is going wrong is that your creation is moving forward without you and then here's the interesting thing we love you so much <laughs> you're struggling more so you're asking for more and more cooperative components are being gathered and then you struggle more and you're asking for more oh you should see what's going on in this vibrational reality that you have set into motion and do you know the more that you live life and the more that you ask because of the life that you're living the bigger your vibrational reality it's so big we gave it a name because we want you to accept the realness of it the vortex we wrote two books about it we want you to know that this vibrational reality is real 
and it is tended to by the you of you by the larger part of you oh the bigger it gets the more important it is you go along with it or you don't feel good and that's why sometimes we love you so much as people move through life they feel worse as time goes by because they continue to expand and not go they continue to expand and not go but no worries because at any point with all of this expansion there you can just relax and chill and go oh <laughs> that's a nice ride when you accept who you really are and what you've really amassed and you find some way of thinking that begins to let it into your perception and therefore let it into your reality and that's the part that we call you turning thoughts to things you deliberately turning thoughts to things oh you're turning thoughts to things all day every day it's just some of those thoughts that you're turning to things are things you don't want to own up to but when you are deliberately lining up with who you really are and are consciously aware and even guiding these things that you are allowing to become because of the deliberate focus of you then you become a deliberate creator and then you begin to feel invincible there's a feeling of empowerment that comes over you but you know we want to put the emphasis not upon your feeling of empowerment oh it's powerful it's you accessing the energy that creates worlds it's powerful it could not be more powerful it is so powerful but we don't want to put the emphasis on the power of it we want to put the emphasis on the pleasure of it because when you allow you to be you then you are basking in love hmm. oh, the feeling of love in comparison with the alternative oh. then you're basking in clarity ah the feeling of clarity in comparison with confusion you're basking in conscious awareness ah the difference of conscious awareness in relationship to conscious confusion oh you're going to come to realize in a very short order of time who you really are and what you are capable of and we're not just talking you can be or do or have anything that you want that is an unequivocal fact but we're not talking about what you can be or do or have in terms of the power of it we're talking about the process of being it and doing and having it in terms of the pleasure of the alignment of it because when you line up with what you have created through the contrast that you've lived oh there's a pleasure there's a satisfaction that's the word there's a satisfaction in life that comes from only one place and that's having launched a desire and you moving in the direction of it rather than an opposition of it so we know you get this you've been hearing us you've been listening you've been living your own life and there isn't anything that we just said here that doesn't resonate with you at a very deep level and as we are moving forward we're going to have lots of conversations with you we'll find the specific points in the room that will satisfy the whole of what you've come here to contribute and what you've come here to understand so we're ready for you are you ready for this so what do you want what do you want at this point of the conversation what do you want to highlight what do you want to clarify what do you want to find resonance within you about what conversation would you like to have that you feel would move you in this powerful moment this powerful moment you know why everything's happening in the now what do you want to do now in relationship to what what do you want to do what do you want to do you ready all right let's have some fun